Hello, I'm Brian Phillips, the owner and engineer at Amphibious Marine. You might ask, do hovercraft have brakes? Some do, most don't. Often, small hovercraft spin 180 and apply reverse thrust. This looks fun, but it's not very practical as you can't see behind you and dirt and spray often cover the machine. Other systems redirect air forward with louvers or deflectors. Reversing prop pitch is another method. These do slow the craft, but add complexity, and most types reduce performance during normal forward operation, requiring more power and weight of a larger engine. For more than 50 years, our unique skirt system has taken a different approach. Our braking system uses drag to slow the craft, which is more powerful, yet simple. Combined with rudders, it also provides precise directional control. The brake utilizes our multi-compartment skirt system to allow the pilot to control the pressure of the forward air cushion. This is done with a foot pedal. As the pedal is depressed, the skirt's internal brake vent flap uncovers eight ports in the bow skirt. The more the vent is opened, the more the bow lowers, causing the skirt to drag. Fully actuated, the hull's planing surface comes into contact with the water. This far exceeds any slowing you could get from reverse thrust. Once the hovercraft is going slowly enough, the rudders can be put hard over and the craft spins on its nose. In this next sequence you can see the brake being used to slow the craft. With practice, the pilot can apply just the right amount of brake to aid in a turn or rapidly stop the Explorer 24 in an emergency. Here you can see a pilot with years of operating experience maneuvering the craft in for a landing. They are using the rudders, throttle, and brake together to precisely position the craft. 